Welcome back to another video. Today we are once again doing a technical top-down analysis. We will be doing a top-down analysis because we believe that the highest time frames are the most important in cryptocurrency analysis. We will be starting at the 12-month time frame, which means that each and every candle on this chart is one year. We will then deep down to the six month, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily and four hour to take a look and see what the trend for Polkadot is going to be. As you can see, the yearly candles are not too interesting. You can see that 2021 was the year when the volume really started to pop up. However, the previous year we saw a downturn fall all the way from $50 back to $9. We are still inside that big red candle, so for now it does not seem too strong on the yearly time frame. From the six month time frame, this image is kind of getting confirmed because we are now seeing two huge wicks to the upside in the previous half years. You can see that we went all the way up towards $50 and then came back to $16, all the way up to $65 and then all the way down to $26. So you can see that there have been a lot of pumps and dumps on the longer time frame. Going down to the three month time frame, we can see that still not too much information is being released. Because this is such a new chart, you cannot get too much of an idea of what's going on based on these charts. But then taking a look at the monthly, we can start to get a good idea of what Polkadot is trying to tell us. We can get an idea that first of all, the whole bull run or the whole upwards momentum started when we've had a monthly close on $5 back in November 2020. We saw a big red candle followed by a more or less bullish or bearish candle. This can be a simple candle followed by a bullish engulfing candle. This is a morning star pattern and a morning star chart pattern from a downtrade or from a long downfall usually means that things are going to become good again. And that is also something that you could see because from that point on, we went from five to pretty much $50 before breaking down with this monthly candle. You can see that this monthly candle became a bearish engulfing candle, engulfing this one and sending us down before we got a huge liquidity test all the way back to $10, which got bought up within the same month, back to $16 and then immediately went straight to the roof towards $30, $32. You can see that this was a huge move caught by a lot of traders, more than 200% traded there. You can see that after that we've got a huge bull trap because you could see that we've had a big bullish engulfing candle followed by a breakout. However, this breakout was not strong enough. So we decided to decline from $55 and now we are all the way back down to $17. But what does this chart actually tell you. Taking a look at this chart, you can kind of get the idea yourself. What I would like to show you right away is that we are for Polkadot in a higher high, higher low situation, just like with most cryptocurrencies. You can see that this is the low. You can see that this was the first low, followed by a high, followed by a new higher low, followed by a new higher high because we broke both highs, making it an uptrend, and then followed all the way to a new higher low. If this zone stays healthy if this zone stays alive. So right, right here we're going to be showing you that it is a higher low, which was then or seems now to be followed by a new higher low. So Polkadot, it, it, even this candle, this candle is kind of a big candle or a good candle to start a reversal from. So you could see that right here because this candlestick patterns were kind of the same. You can see that we then had a downfall, but you can see that once again, a indecisive candle was the signal for a new huge uptrend. So for now, I would like to show, see that this is bullish because we are still way above the previous low. So from the monthly time frame, I would say that Polkadot is actually doing pretty well. And from this point on, we could make a new higher high because we've had a high followed by a new higher high. And this is something that you truly would like to see with an altcoin like this. Let's take a look what the weekly is telling us. We can now start to see some moving averages. You can see that we fell down below the 50 weekly moving average. So basically from the moving average perspective, we are now in a downtrend. However, this has not been sustained yet. Just like I said, there have not been a lot of information. So these are just new indicators to take into account. Taking a look at what happened, you can see that we have had a huge uptrend followed by a breakdown of that uptrend. You can also start to draw some support boxes to really get an idea of what's going on in the graph. You can see that this is an important zone. So this will also be an important zone going back up. You also know that support and resistance zones usually flip. So a support zone becomes a resistance zone and a resistance zone becomes a support zone. Taking a look all the way back from the 20, 20 times, we can start to draw the first support boxes. So we now basically have set some boundaries 
some boundaries for the graph which it has been in. And I believe that once, if we do once again pull over a Fibonacci retracement, that we are going to see some golden levels. The golden levels have been broken, so that's something to intake into account. This is something that you would usually not like to see. So from the Fibonacci retracement, it should also be that we've already fell down one of the most important zones, at least in our technical analysis. So the MACD seems to be wanting to cross bullish, but this is long way gone. There's no reason to assume that it will now immediately go up. But what we can see is kind of like an MACD convergence, because you see this becoming lower while this is currently staying higher. So if we were to get a cross right here, this would be a hidden divergence. Going down to the lower time frames, we can start to get a good idea of the shorter term trend and the shorter term trend at this moment is still down because we have been following a trend line and the 50 weekly moving average from quite some time. We could state that if we draw it from this line that it would have just been broken and that today would be one of the better days to buy it. However, we are still below, below one of the important zones that we drew from the weekly time frame, which is something that we then need to respect, and the 50 daily moving average, which, which has been a resistance from quite some time. However, you guys do know that the, the more times a resistance is being touched, the weaker it gets. So you can see that one, two, three, four, five attempts were made to go up and none of them were honored. We might as well draw a Fibonacci level on the last few days to get an idea what kind of support and resistance zones we got inside this small section. Inside this small section, you would see that we have been finding support on the 0.618. And the 0.618 is an important level in the Fibonacci retracement because it is considered a golden zone. One of the important things that we would like to see for the whole crypto market is that this daily candle consists within the previous daily candle. Because the daily previous candle was pretty impressive and for bitcoin ethereum and all charts today is a strange day because we're kind of ping-ponging around what we want to see is that this daily does not become a bearish engulfing candle and then this uptrend might sustain going down to the four hour time frame we can see whether this image is becoming confirmed you can see that the bigger trend line has still has its value because it has been connecting on almost all dots at a great way you can see that we've broken it and we have now retested it you can see that we ha are kind of hanging around the moving averages on the lower time frame, but you can see that we in the previous few four hours we've had a quite a downturn. So this candle is a bearish engulfing candle indicating some more downwards momentum to come and this is not yet reversed. However, we do get kind of like a great flag right here, but that's something to take into account for another day. Altogether, I'm very interested to see where DOT is going to be going. The most important thing for my technical analysis that I'm doing right now is that we sustain the higher low section. Because if we sustain this higher low, then everything should be fine and DOT is set to amaze faces once again.